What's going on, guys? Hi, guys. So, we are back with another Ecto-1 build. And this one is going to be box three. And it's going to be parts packs nine and ten. Last video, we put together the motor, um, the remainder of the motor, um, which was the right side block, the exhaust manifold, with a bunch of little parts, the distributor, stuff like that and this is what we have so we end up putting on half the side um the distributor right here and a few other things as well as the oil pan got everything on there and the um, intake manifold so in this video we we're doing parts pack nine and ten mm -hmm. and 9 and 10 is going to be right here. This is our air box. And it looks like the carburetor as well. Yeah, your air box, carburetor. And back, back in the day, a lot of cars, they had a big round air filter on top of the engine. That's where it was. It wasn't on the side or anything like that, like modern vehicles. It was right up top because they were carburetor vehicles. And a carbureted vehicle, um, you're sucking air down from the very top of the um, carburetor. So you had a, a round air filter that went around the top of the motor, and that filtered the air. So mm -hmm. I like the look of that. It was really cool. And, of course, you can get, like, chrome-plated covers and all of that. Um, but if you ever look at a, an old car engine, they typically had something like that. So that's going to be nine and then 10, uh, 10 looks like a bunch of pulleys and stuff. Um, probably mounts on the side of the motor. It has a, looks like, looks like a water pump. Um, maybe an alternator or not an alternator. Um, I don't know. looks like a water pump because there's a, a thing here and we haven't really got to that yet. Also, finally got our other issues inside our binder here. And it's very easy to attach them inside. So now everything's kind of nice and neat. And this is what we're working on now. We are working on parts pack nine. And are you excited about this? Yes, I am. You are? All right. Um, it's just adding to the motor. I know there's going to be more stuff to add to this motor. Um, because it doesn't look like there's any, um, spark plug wires yet. And I think after the spark plug wires, I think that's all. Um, and then we should start getting into the other parts of the build. Um, I'm hoping at some point here we get a frame. That way we can, you know, put the motor in the frame and everything. I think that'll look really good. So what do you say we get started? Let's go. All right. All right. Get our parts out, and this is what we're working with. Uh, this one should be very easy to put together, it looks like. Um, just looks like parts of the carburetor. And then we have our, our air box here. And of course, our packs of hardware. And we are doing this. Issue nine, stage nine, carburetor and air filter. And we're gonna be right down here. This is a... Uh, fast idle cam so we're gonna put this together real quick and then over here it's gonna be at, at fixing the uh the fuel inlet and then we'll put the carburetor and everything on top and then the air box or the air filter goes right on top very easy this one should uh should not take too long to do and then right after that that's it. Wow, that's a quick pack. It's a quick pack of parts to put together. All right, let's get started. Let's get this thing put together. Okay, got that screwed on just like that. Oops, and I dropped it. Found it. All right, these little pieces sometimes are 
very small and of course I got big meaty fingers so got that attached one screw in the back and then now we will attach this piece right here to this so it's actually going to be this piece right here if you can see it and this piece that we just put together simply goes just like that right on there and it's held together with EP screws EP. all right that is attached right there so we have this piece all done and now this will get attached to this piece and then it looks like it goes oops, right inside here just like that I believe nope Just like that, right on the side. And that's attached with hardware GP. And that's held on just like that. And that's what you have when you are all done. So now this, well, it looks like it's getting attached to Corner of this right here. This is what we just did. Now we need to attach this other piece with GP on the other side. And then after that's done, it gets attached to the engine like this. And then we run a hose down all the way to the fuel pipe, which is right in the front of the motor. And we'll do that right now. Okay, so we have all the pieces attached to this that we needed to. This piece right here, this piece, and this piece. One screw each, and now this will get attached to the motor, and it lines up just like this. Right on top, just like that. And then there's a hose that goes from the front right here all the way down here to the side, actually up here. And we'll do that right now. All right, there's our hose connects to here all the way over to our carburetor. And that is a fuel line. And then now we will build the air box Build the air box right here and attach it right on top of the motor. So it should look just like that. All right, there we go. We have our air box on and it's kind of sucks. I mean, it, it kind of covers up a little bit of it. It's not too bad, but there we go. I think it looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. We think pretty, pretty cool. cool, pretty cool. All right, and that is all for parts pack uh, nine. Now we are going to be going into parts pack 10. 10. And 10 is this right here. So we have the generator front bracket. Looks like building the generator right here and then attaching the generator down here. And Yep, and an oil filter right up front. So we will get all of this on and show you what it looks like once it's all done. Okay guys, so we have everything put on that we needed to put on and I'll show you exactly what all we did right here on the front. It's starting to come together. The motor's becoming bigger and bigger. Oh, we put the air filter on we installed this bracket right here, which holds on the um, generator, which is like an alternator, huh. which is a little different. 
Um, older cars had alternators, or had uh, generators, sorry. Older cars had generators, newer cars have alternators. Uh, alternator basically, it stops giving power. Um, a generator is constant use of power. Hmm. So it's a little bit different. Um, obviously, uh, alternator is a, it's, a uh, it's a better option compared to a, a generator. Pretty cool. And then oil filter right here on the top. And that is it. I like it. it. Looks really cool. Starting to get beefy. And this motor is getting heavier and heavier because this bracket right here, it's all metal, um, as well as parts Mostly of the uh, the generator right there is metal. Mostly everything is metal. So that's it. That's all we have for stage ten. And I'll show you real quick on here. What all we did, so generator right here, got all that installed, got that on um, right here for the uh, heat pump or the water pump, inlet right here, and the oil filter, and this bracket. And there we go. One next chapter done in the Ecto build. All right, guys, there you go. We have the motor i want to say it's 90 percent done um it's the only thing that i could see that's left is the spark plug wires which will go on to the actual spark plugs here route through these little loops which makes it look nice and neat and it goes back here to the distributor cap um this thing is amazing on how much detail that they went that they they put into this thing i mean it's just there's so much there so much on there are so many little screws too mm -hmm. man it's it's crazy how many little screws you have and trying to get them lined up and then we have a lot of extra screws there you go a pile of extra screws which is fine because you know if we need them down the road if say you know one strips out hopefully it doesn't ever happen you know knock on wood um but we have extra just in case which I'd rather have extra than not enough than have to reach out to Eagle Moss to try to get us replacements. Um, I'm happy. I can't wait to see what's in the next box. I, I hope that we start getting the frame soon. Um, that way we can put the motor on the frame and really see the size of it. Because we've only done, what, one tire so far? Yeah, one tire. We still have three more tires we have to do. And then, you know, who knows whatever else is going to happen. You know, there's a lot of parts to this this build and i i love it so far what do you think it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i like it um what do you think of the size of the motor big it's big right it's it's put your hand out it's bigger than your hand look at this it's the thing is huge so i'm i'm super stoked about this whole thing and uh yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I can't wait to start getting into this more. Guys, if you guys have any questions about our build so far and if we've had any issues with anything or if you have any comments about anything that we've done in our uh, Ghostbusters build or anything, let us know. Comment down below. Um, we'll answer questions. I love getting feedback on it. I've gotten a few people, uh, you know, reach out and say, hey, listen, for this, try this. Uh, whenever you get the parts, look at them carefully because there's some flaws, which... I can understand. I mean, these parts are mass produced. They're, you know, they're done in a factory and then they're shipped out. So it's understandable that there's going to be some issues down the down the road whenever we uh, we go to build it. And hopefully, I mean, we haven't really had anything significant lately with our build. The only issue we had was a transmission that was a little loose. But I went back in and fixed it a little bit, and it's not as bad as it was. So that's good. I hope you guys liked our video. Um, please like, subscribe, um, leave a comment down below, and we'll get back to you guys as soon as we can. We're doing good. We're still healthy. We're still fighting through this, and we're having fun. Talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.